I am done trying to live waste free, by Cecile Meyer, read by Jane. Every few days, I stare at my rubbish bin and feel guilty. Despite my family's best efforts to consume responsibly and reduce our waste, our bins need emptying out several times a week. I've read books and articles on zero waste living and contemplated making my own cleaning products, yogurt, and even mascara. It's easy. Anyone can do it. You're a bad person if you don't even try it. But then I get overwhelmed by it all, and it never happens. My husband and I are working parents with a busy three-year-old, and there is only so much time and energy we are willing to dedicate to reducing our waste. Still, we are quite responsible consumers. We started using reusable shopping bags long before supermarkets banned single-use plastic bags, have never packed our fruit in plastic, and we don't use bin liners. If you have a compost bin, it really is unnecessary. Just wash the bin every time you empty it. We make our own bread and use solid shampoo, bars and soap. We will always choose the product with the least packaging, even if it costs a bit more. We only have one car and my husband bikes to work. But that's how far we are willing to go at this stage, and I am done feeling guilty about our rubbish. Buying normal products such as pasta, cheese and canned beans is a mission if you want to go waste-free. You can either make things such as butter, nut milk and hummus yourself, or you have to go to several shops and farmers markets to find the package-free version. This is time-consuming and also a waste of more petrol. So if, like us, you do a weekly grocery run at the supermarket, it's impossible to avoid waste. Produce twist ties and rubber bands, frozen vegetable bags, hummus and plastic containers. Any convenient food product comes in a package. To go waste-free, you need time, energy and resources. It's not accessible to everyone, so let's stop pretending it's easy. People buy plastic crap and packaged food because it is dirt cheap and convenient. It's hard enough even for the most privileged to reduce waste. For the least privileged, it might not even be an option. I wish the focus was less on shaming consumers for buying available products and more on corporations using the packaging and supermarkets accepting it. It shouldn't be the consumer's sole responsibility to reduce what goes to the landfill. We need legislation that makes producers responsible for the packaging they use. Taxes and regulations on businesses producing packaging waste and disposable plastic items would also have much more impact than convincing people to make their own yoghurt. So instead of collectively feeling guilty and ashamed of our consumption habits, let's start a conversation about what governments and brands can do to reduce our waste. Thanks for listening. See you next time.